I, the purpose of this video is to talk about what the proper binding looks like for a DJI Vision Plus. What you have here is the DJI Vision Plus. I put a different um, video transmission module in there. And what we need to do is we need to bind the drone to the range extender using the DJI Vision app. Um, and we're going to talk about what that looks like when it works properly. I have a previous video where I actually talked about what it looks like when you don't do that properly. So let's get started. Um, like I said, the binding hasn't happened here. So we're going to start off by turning on the drone. Turn on the remote just so the drone's not flashing quite as crazy. And we're going to turn on the range extender. <clears throat> and if you watch the range extender, if you watch the top light right here in the lower right of the screen, you're going to see it kind of goes through a boot up process where it's just flashing dink, dink, dink like that. Um, and it's actually not ideal to do a binding with the drone this close to the whole setup. And um, actually, it's also advised to do the binding away from any really big Wi-Fi sources like your laptop or even worse yet, your home's Wi-Fi router. So I'm gonna take the drone, I'm gonna move it away about 10 to 20 feet. So I still have a good signal, but it doesn't interfere. Before I do that, just note, that's the MAC address that I'm gonna be binding to. The last six are 0399F1. And when you get a new Wi-Fi video transmission module like this, uh, that MAC address is probably gonna differ from the one at the bottom of the drone, as it does in my case. Um, and so you're not gonna scan this QR code, you're not gonna use that MAC address on the bottom of the drone any other time now that we have this new Wi-Fi transmission module in there. So I'm gonna move the drone away and we'll get started. All right, so now it's a good distance away. If you notice the range extender um, has left the flashing mode and now it's into uh, steady lights. It might be flickering lights for you, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little reset on the range extender and put it into binding mode. And so I'm gonna Stick this here, I'm gonna show you what the lights look like. I start holding it down. And the lights come on, then they go off. And once they're off, I can release here. And you're gonna see this range extender is gonna boot up again. And when it boots up, <clears throat> this time it's gonna be in binding mode. So we'll get into the app. get into the DJI Vision app. And right now we're connected to my home Wi-Fi, so we're gonna watch for the phantom Wi-Fi to show up. There it is. So now this range extender is in binding mode and I can connect to the Wi-Fi. It's gonna tell me, sure you wanna connect? Yeah, why not? And it's connecting. Some phones will give you a little warning that says there's no internet on this range extender. Um, yeah, we know that. So now I go back and check out, yep, I'm connected to the Phantom Wi-Fi. So that means I'm just connected to the range extender and I'm gonna teach the range extender how to talk to the video transmission module. I'm gonna do that by binding it. There we go. MAC address. And it was 0399F1. So there we go, 0399F1. And now when I hit this green, this blue check mark, um, just watch what it does. First, it's gonna talk to the range extender and send that to it. And then it sits here. And it'll sit here forever until I hit the second blue check mark and that should give me a binding successful message. And that's key to knowing that the binding actually is successful. So you have to see this. Um, some other devices, it just flashes out and brings me to the main app screen, camera settings, etc. cetera. Um, but you have to see this, and this means it really worked. So I'm gonna hit okay. And it bumps me out to the settings menu, not to the main menu. That's another sign that everything's cool. 
Um, and the third sign that everything worked well is when I go back to the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> we'll watch phantom Wi-Fi disappear. And it's connecting back to my home Wi-Fi. And this is back in boot up mode. So the range extender is actually booting up. That's the third sign that um, the binding has been successful. And we have just one more sign that the binding is successful. Actually, two more. Um, the fourth one is that it actually comes back and we can connect to it. And then the fifth one is that we don't have a black screen on the drone and we actually have a good signal. So let's connect to it. It's back. It's all set. It now knows, the range extender now knows that it should talk to the drone using that MAC address. So we're connected back. We go to camera. Let's see what we've got. Look at that. We've got a video signal. Um, not an exciting one. It's of my bench, but it tells us all sorts of facts. It tells us how f high up the drone is, the speed, uh, the distance from the drone. Distance from the drone is not applicable because the drone doesn't know where it is yet. It's um, inside my house, so it doesn't have any GPS signal. And actually, the top's off it, so it has no GPS signal. Um, but other than that, this is a healthy connection. Um, we're good to go. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, binding can be annoying, especially when you buy any new hardware, like a new range extender or a new video transmission module. But um, switch devices. You should see what you just saw in this video. And uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below on this uh, video. So thanks a lot.